Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're going to be answering the question of what ammo should we be aiming for in our progression with the traders. There is a bewildering array of ammunition available across the world of Tarkov which is easy to see if you've spent more than a few moments taking a gander across the ammo chart on the wiki. However there are certain critical milestones that unlock ammo that can change the entire way you play the game or allow certain weapons to become viable that were unusable before. With the traders going from level 1 to level 4 across the first 42 levels of your Tarkov career, assuming that you have the cash spend and the rep from quests, ammunition unlocks gradually throughout the progression. This is very important in 12.12 because much of the good ammo is not allowed on the flea anymore, leaving you to level up your traders, use hideout crafts or find it in raid instead. However, after level 38 there isn't really anything that special, which is when you get Skier 4, and Therapist and Ragman have no ammo for sale at any level so we can ignore these guys. At level 1 we don't have access to much. There are plenty of flesh rounds or bullets with low pen that can work at the start of a wipe, but if I had to pick one it would be 762 by 39 ps This is compatible with the SKS, the VPO-136 and 762 AKs in general and is a great start around with 57 damage and 32 pen. Skier 1 has a few random rounds, but the 7mm buckshot is probably his best for use with any of the 12 gauge shotguns, including the double barrel and the revolver. However, Express is also a good choice on Jaeger 1, which fires one extra pellet for 9 in total, and Mechanic 1 gives access to 9mm PST, which early on is a decent round for getting headshots with lower recoil weapons like the MP5, and it can deal with light armour, i.e. it has a 90% pen chance versus the Packer and other class 2s. Peacekeeper probably has the most interesting level 1 ammo which is the 45 ACP Match FMJ as it's typically paired with the UMP early wipe through the knife barter. With a low rate of fire of 600 RPM its 53 recoil feels super good and the ammo has great stats in the early game with 76 damage and 25 pen. Then unfortunately there's a big gap from level 1 to level 14 just before getting access to the flea market. Peacekeeper sneaks in there at level 14 and has two key ammunitions M80 and M856A1. There is a reason why M80 was sold out all the time at the start of 12.12 as it easily deals with class 4 armour given it has 80 damage and 41 pen, i.e. a 90% pen chance to penetrate on the first hit. Then for M856A1, this is only available after completing The Cult Part 1, which is quite far along Peacekeeper's questline progression, but once you have it, it's a great round with 37 pen, which again deals with class 4 with a 55% starting pen chance and 51 damage. One benefit to Peacekeeper 2 is that he also requires no trader rep to get to level 2, only cash spent. At level 15 we unlock quite a few more traders at level 2. Rapport brings quite a highly underrated round 545 PP, which previously was never really used because better arm alternatives existed with the flea completely open, but it has 32 pen which is the same as 762 PS but with the lower recoil that the 545 platform brings. 12.12 is the first wipe that I've ever used this round and it performed really well in this new regime of class 4 and high full auto recoil that we find ourselves in. He also has a couple of good barters here for BP and BT rounds which gives you options if they're expensive on the flea market. Still at level 15, Skier 2 has nothing of any real value regarding ammo, but Jaeger 2 unlocks Magnum Buckshot. This is a crazy round for leg meta, and also each pellet easily one taps the unprotected face, so it can be quite flexible, dealing the most potential damage out of all the choices for 12 gauge shotguns. At level 20, Mechanic has no ammo at all, so we have to wait until level 22 to get any serious ammo unlocks. Jaeger 3 is the earliest level 3 trader possible at this point at 22, and this is when we unlock flechette rounds for the 12 gauge shotguns. These tear through armour like crazy at close range because of the multi-shot rounds, Flechette has by far the highest pen at 31, which can shred even decent armour in a few shots. At level 23, Peacekeeper 3 unlocks a whole treasure trove of ammunition and is a big landmark. It's hard to choose which are the best here, but either of SS190 and SB193 for the P90 are basically required to use the weapon at all, with 37 and 35 pen respectively, and SB193 gives a big recoil buff. This is a similar story for FMJSX for the MP7 where the weapon is borderline unusable before getting access to this ammunition. ACP AP takes our original match FMJ and cranks it up a whole notch into the mid game with 70 damage and 38 pen. Notice how close this is to M80 in terms of performance with 80 damage and 41 pen, but instead this is fired at 600 RPM out of a 50 recoil UMP. Scary stuff. Speaking of M80, at Peacekeeper 3 he also sells the M80 upgrade M62 Tracer. This comes with improved penetration which can help at range as well as increasing the initial pen chance versus class 5 from 13% to 30% in CQB, not to mention a small but meaningful recoil buff of 5. At $8.50 per round which is approximately 1000 rubles per shot, it's not cheap but usually you aren't firing loads of it so it's not quite as bad as it seems. 
Moving up to Prapor 3 at level 26, you can now buy 545BT and 545BP directly from him. BT at 694 rubles is alright and gives your AKs the kick they need to easily dispatch the PMCs with class 4 armour. BT is another 37 pen special, which is another one with just over 50% chance to pen on the first hit. He also stocks a barter for 30 rounds of 545BS, which is a great round for 545 and allows you to easily pen class 5. At current prices, it's roughly equivalent to 1500 rubles per round so it doesn't come cheaply, but given a Golnik is fined in raid only and has issues with damage at distance with 1212's drop off mechanics, the S is arguably the best round you can buy for the 545 AKs. At level 26, this is really quite early in the progression. One major milestone round on Prapor 3 is also 762 BP. This unlocks after finishing Punisher Part 5 and is a proper endgame round with 47 pen, which means it either 2 taps or 3 taps class 5 armor most of the time given it has 58 damage. A few levels later at 30 and we make it to the big milestone of Mechanic 3. Here we can buy Subsonic SX for the MP7, which is very similar and slightly lower pen than FMJ, but gives a great reduction to recoil which can be worth it overall. Also 366 AP becomes available for the 366 weapons, namely the 215 Sniper and the 209 Assault Carbine. As we move up into the level 4 traders, Jaeger 4 potentially unlocks from level 33, and here we can buy the AP-20 Slug. Given there are quite a few late game quests with shotguns, this is a godsend as AP-20 is one of the best pieces of shotgun ammo that you can buy, with again 37 pen, but this time with 164 damage so it's one of the few rounds in the game that actually gives you the potential of one tapping class 4 regularly. Grapple 4 opens up at level 36, and here we can buy the fabled 762-54R round SNB. This is legendary for its 62 pen, which means that it 2 taps every armor in the game, and 1 taps every helmet. It effectively negates all defensive equipment, and you're playing as if your opponents have no armor at all. The downside is there are a limited number of weapons that are chambered in 54R in Tarkov, namely the Mosin, the SV-98, and the SVD. The downsides of the bolt actions are clear, and the SVD itself suffers from relatively high recoil and low ergo, in part due to its weight, as well as its high cost to mod. It's certainly a powerful weapon, but you do tend to see more M61-308 DMR type weapons used in the endgame like the SR-25 and the M1A, due to their ability to get down into the 60s, 50s and even better sometimes depending on the gun. At level 37, we now get access to Peacekeeper 4. Here is the first unlock of M855A1, the best routine AP round for 556 that has decent damage and pen of 46 and 45. The 556 rifles have suffered in 1212 from recoil nerfs, in particular the M4 and the HK416, as the high rates of fire of 800 and 850 here compound the problem further. As an alternative to 55A1, we also unlock 300 Blackout AP for the MCX at Peacekeeper 4, and the extra damage that this delivers of 51 with the same 45 pen helps this ammo to outperform 55A1, because with a 30% chance to frag, this gives it the ability to overcome armour mitigation in some scenarios, occasionally removing one round from time to kill more so than you might otherwise expect. On Peacekeeper 4 is also where we unlock M61, but Wet Job Part 6 needs to have been completed first before it gets unlocked. Be warned though, at $19 a round, this doesn't come cheap. It's probably only worth using once players are routinely kitting up with class 5 and 6 armor, but with 70 damage and 64 pen, it's arguably the best round in the entire game between its standalone performance and the weapons that can fire it. The very next level at 38 comes our final unlock, which is an ammo we've already just seen, which is M855A1. The reason this is notable on Skier is how cheap he sells it. Versus a price of around 790 rubles equivalent from Peacekeeper, Skier sells it for 445 rubles a round. This is crazy and is cheaper than many, many other worst performing rounds. There's a reason why this gets sold out all the time and you can only buy a small amount, because although the ammo itself is good but not insane, it's one of the best value purchases in the entirety of Tarkov. So as usual, if you learned something, please consider dropping a like and a comment. To see when I'm streaming, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. To check out our Scab Talk podcast, look at the links in the description below. And with all that said, I'll see you next time. And as always, have fun in your raids.